Point Taken Podcast, everybody. Can't say boom, this bum, is Boom, huh? Bop, and Pow. Okay, you got it. All right. I'm Hunter, the host of this podcast. Uh, let me show you. I'm Hunter, host of this podcast. Uh, with me, as always, my compatriot, Pastor Josiah Shipley. What up, everybody? Is it a joy to be here? It is a joy to be here. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then, uh, joining us in the studio today is our lovely producer, uh, TikTok influencer, <laughs> um, yes, right, and a uh, provider of many, many great things. Christian Torres, what up? Happy to be here, everybody. Happy to be here. Yeah, we're really happy to have Christian with us uh, today. Unfortunately, Anna is out, but will be rejoining us soon. <laughs> it's very sad that Anna's gone because today we are going to be doing. We're going to be playing a pretty cool game. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, we're going to be playing a pretty cool game. Okay, I'm ready. All right. So t- today, this game is going to be called Hive Mind. Okay, it's called Hive Mind. I just walked in. Don't look at me. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's because I made it up. All right, so you can see in front of you that we each have a tower. Yes. Okay, we each have spears, and you might have noticed, I don't know if you have noticed, that I'm wearing something particularly special, a garb, so my night all my the people that garb. were just listening to this now just looked at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just going to want to look at your screen sp- and see that I'm wearing my night garb because that really helps with this illusion. Okay. Uh, so this is called the hive mind. Okay. okay. The goal of the game is to think along with the hive mind. Don't be a free thinker. Uh-oh. Okay. The free thinkers are going to so lose So be the like game. everyone else on TikTok. That's Don't exactly right. Don't have them on your own. Okay. Got it. That's exactly yeah. right. We're Except it's just with the people in this room. Okay. I can do that. You want to be part of the hive mind. Okay? Does that include all of our camera people? Actually, in a way, it does. And oh. let, 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 let me explain. So I'm going to have our uh, cameraman, the cameraman. He is oh, a man. Oh, cameraman. No. cameraman. We got it. Yes. Nick. <laughs> he has a mic. Nick, say hello to the people. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. We have arrived. Yeah, we have arrived. Our cameraman, Nick, is not only going to be manning our cameras as the cameraman, but will also be reading us controversial opinions. Okay? I love those. Now, we will have our eyes closed when he reads these things, and if you agree with the opinion, you're going to raise your spear. You know, does nice. that make sense? Yes. If you don't agree with the opinion, I you're like going to keep this. your spear yeah, right. lowered. Now here's Is the there thing. a middle ground? No, yeah. no middle ground. But all the other thinkers in we the have room, to be like man. me, have to. Okay. No, no, yeah, be a man. Split the, oh my and now, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. If, for an example, if myself and Christian both raise our spears and Pastor Josiah does not, then he is the free thinker and he loses one block on his tower. Oh my goodness! You, so you lose. Points. You lose points if you're the free thinker. That means that you have a bad opinion. Cut your creativity. We don't need it here. We you really you need have Anna to back. be honest. You have <laughs> to be Anna honest. Back. You have and to be honest. I need Anna back. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the twist, guys. Uh, we have uh, three people back behind the cameras right now. We have Lowell, who is our technical engineer. Love that man. Uh, we have Nicholas, who is our cameraman. And we have my little brother, Dalton, who is our photographer. We're ignoring the other Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. He, yeah. He's free. Pay no attention to the man <laughs> holding the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> now each of them have one block of their own, and if they say, "You know what, the free thinker was right," then they get to come in yeah. and save the free thinker with one block. They each only have one block, so they have to be oh wow very I'm looking, careful. I'm looking at you. But if two of them really are just like, "No, this free thinker well, is right," you look really right, nice today. He does, doesn't he? Then they can throw down both of their blocks. Dalton, this is a really cool. You're game. the best basketball right? player I've ever seen. <laughs> what is it? You lower it down. He's only to, ever met one. <laughs> you lower it down to when you disagree. Is that it? <clears throat> okay. You just don't raise it, bro. Oh, I came up with this game while walking through a prop closet, wondering. Hmm, I wonder if I can make a game with stuff. Was like it this. the prop closet down the hall? It was. Okay. All right. Let's go. And it was a good <laughs> twenty minutes ago. Okay. Uh, so. Nicholas, if you could read us the very first controversial opinion, guys, let's go ahead and close our eyes and hold our spears. So I don't need my microphone. Well, I mean, you do. You okay, do. all right. Meta commentary. Okay. Are right, you guys ready? Okay, yeah. let's go, Nick. GIF is pronounced GIF. And right, you tell us when to open our eyes. Open your eyes. Okay. 
Now you're supposed now, obviously by the way that was written, you probably should have said G I F is pronounced. <laughs> yeah, he he poisoned the well there. It was a well, leading. Yeah. It was a leading question. Yeah, it was. Heard a lot of Nick opinion I'm, in there. I'm, not gonna I'm, re- I'm reading it how it's typed out. <laughs> no, <laughs> do we need to hand it to someone else? <laughs> No, no, Nick is Nick's the man. Okay, uh, we're ready. So we have no free thinkers on round one. Thank goodness, because mm. it's definitely pronounced GIF. Okay. Okay. Close the eyes. Okay. Yep. In a fight against a silverback gorilla and a grizzly bear, the silverback wins. Open your eyes. Whoa! Wow! I no did not think that. Controversy. I thought about it. Good job. I thought about Good it. Good job. I thought about it. Okay, can we can we talk about why? All right, it's tough for me. It, it, it's tough for me. Um, you know, the opposable thumbs right. are a clear advantage. Yeah, for but sure. They didn't say like where the setting would be, so my overthinking brain like, okay, but bears can climb. Monkeys can climb. They can swim. I don't, can gorillas swim? I'm sure they can swim. I don't know why they wouldn't. They're animals. They've got to be able. They're to animals. Swim. What is that? They're I mean, they, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> okay, but when would a when give me one I animal that doesn't swim? A bald eagle. They can swim. They can glide over the water. That's they not can, swimming. Okay. That's not. Hold swimming. on. You know what? That's oh, not wait, swimming. Wait, I'm gonna take a piece of your towel. Wait, for a minute. you're asking me what animal doesn't swim? Can a mice? Can a mice? Oh yeah. A mouse. A mouse. He, he's a losing. mouse. Yeah. A mouse. A mouse can swim. No, it can't. It shorts out my computer every time. All right, next. Yeah. One. Uh, I I didn't like that. I didn't, but let's just talk. The, a grizzly bear has a significant weight I advantage. I feel like they're bigger. Am I right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They, they are bigger. There's a weight advantage. There's a speed advantage, and there's like I don't know if there's. The more I, we I talk about this, a, the more we talk about this, I am getting a little less confident in my answer. Why is that? You think the because I mean the silverback like would the probably silverback, have a strength advantage in I, some way. I know a grizzly can run faster, but I think yeah. I think a silverback is more agile side to side. Correct. Mm. I don't and know. Lowell is making a clawing motion. I don't. Okay, I understand the claws. Saying, that was the claws. Were, I didn't say that. That was the reason why I I stayed here. But it, I'm wondering if the question had been said in reverse, would have had the courage to raise my. I don't wow. Know. That's these are the things that are going to keep us up in the. Who could punch harder, a grizzly or, or? Oh, the silverback can punch harder, but the grizzly can bite and can. Those claws don't play. Claw, dude. I don't know. It would be a fun fight to watch, but I think the Grizzlies pulling that out. What do you think? I'm still flabbergasted by the sentence to the man on the left that all animals can swim. You can't. Uh, <laughs> and then he's a, Conti- they can glide. glide. Give me one animal that's okay, not airborne. Sure, that's in the land. That can swim. Sure, they cannot swim. You mean? Yeah, sure. Give me one that cannot swim. How well do cats swim? I don't know, but they swim. They don't like it. I know that. It's okay being wrong. This might be your first can time. Can mosquitoes swim? <laughs> They're airborne. That was the one parameter I gave. Mosquitoes, no, mosquitoes rest on top of the water because they, they don't break the water tension. That's not swimming. It's not swimming, for sure. He agrees with me. Okay, I understand. Gliding can be a, a form of swimming. Drop it in the comments. Is there an animal that cannot swim? Yes! This is, this is, is there an animal that cannot swim? Lice. Pastor Josiah needs to Lice. Is the lice an animal? Yes! Okay, it's an animal, but it still glides. I understand the gliding argument, but we're, we're, we're trying to – you know what? I'm done. Next question, <laughs> no, please. that's for sure. All right. Here, ask that <laughs> he question. He said, oh, that's for sure. All right, next question, next question. Eyes closed, gentlemen. The toilet paper goes under the roll. Open your eyes. No way nobody disagreed oh, with that. And that's an easy one. It's very easy. No, well, that's okay, but I bet you if Anna was here, she would have raised that. Well, yeah, just because she's, she's a woman. <laughs> there you go. You heard it so here. Just first. kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Minister, what about this church? Yeah, I because I've heard so much controversy over where the toilet paper belongs. It's a silly controversy. There's no argument. It's over. That's the answer. It is okay. Over. Can I? Can I interest you in this counter argument? Mm. Yeah. People with pets and people with children have no, often I said argued. It, it goes this way. He he said, "Say your question again." Toilet paper goes under the roll. Dang, I should have raised it. 
Raise it. Under meaning it. Now it's too late now. No, it's he not means, too late. It's not too late. Like, You're a free like thinker. This. Wait, wait, wait. So like, like this. Okay, under means behind, where you reach under the roll. Okay. Oh, I disagree I with that 100%. It, okay. I'm yeah, so sorry. I read sorry. it backwards. I apologize. Okay, hold on. You you think that is how it's it supposed to be? It should go over. It should go over. It should go over. Read the question. <laughs> the toilet paper goes under the roll. I disagree. No, it goes over. It goes over. We're stupid. That's what he I said the first so, time. We're so sorry. stupid. Should go on. So you take guys away are, his block. You guys are agreeing. Take away his block. You guys are agreeing that it should go under. It should no, go over. It should go okay, over. then oh, yeah, this is for agreeing. I and he just said it should go under, and you disagreed that it should go under. No, so we did it right the first time. Yes. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, you know, all right. Let's um. Next. People with babies and pets often argue that you need to have it under because they'll just. Yeah, I, I'm one of those. Roll it. How okay. about convenience? I apologize for the third time. I was right the first time. It should go over. Yeah, it should go over. Okay, thank you. So you every it American up. Naomi almost changed my opinion about that. My yeah. youngest, but she didn't. Yeah, that, that's a hard. That, it would be a hard sell. Mm, okay. All right, eyes closed. All right, let's do it right. This so wait, you Go raise ahead. it. You raise it. You raise it. You say I stand for that. I agree with this okay. opinion. All Thank right, you. let's go. Let's go. Okay. Aliens do not exist. Uh, oh, come on. There's no way. No, yeah. There's no alien believers no, in no. here? I, 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 you don't believe in aliens? I don't believe you don't, in aliens. You just raised your pool noodle. Correct. I just expected somebody here to believe in some sort of alien. Yeah. No type of life outside of this planet. I agree with that. What if I said... Germs. Uh, I would. Be I believe that it's a possibility. Germs. I believe it's a possibility. But did they originate on Earth? No, like originated somewhere else. You know, like maybe never even make it to Earth. But are there types of pathogens or? I germs doubt or? it, but I believe it's a possibility. Yeah, it it is a possibility. But we should cover it. aliens one day. Do it. Which type of aliens? We're talking about intelligent aliens, l bacterial life, Any plants. Thing. Because I feel like there's going to be a lot go ahead, of... Go ahead, Nick. We may or may not have a viewer question about that. About aliens? Oh. Throw it out there. Or do we want to save it? How big of a question is it? It's just going to be general. General, say, general who? Uh, Sal. Zod. General Sal. General Zod is an alien. General Zod is an alien. Never mind. It's something somewhere but not about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you, right. cameraman Nick. Camera boy. <laughs> next, <laughs> next question. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. You didn't raise your. I raised my spirit of this. Okay. Water is wet. <laughs> oh, hold on. Give us a little extra time on this one. We need no extra time. The decision's been made. It's water is wet. Okay. I'm ready when you guys are. I'm ready. Open your eyes. Thank you, gentlemen. Are you raising it or not? Does this look like this? No. Okay. We okay. all agreed. That one, I'm so surprised nobody thought that one, was wet. Yeah. Oh, we're just intellectuals here. Hold on. Oh. 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 Lowell is coming in. You but say water's we wet. we all wear the same. You say water's wet? Give him the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, if we define water as like the liquid form of H2O, that is wet. Because water can be in dry forms, or I should say H2O can be in dry forms, in dry steam, or in ice. So it's how you define the word water. Is mm. that the liquid form, or are you just talking H2O in general? I got to see oh minus my chemistry. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so just clarification. When we have steam, that is still H2O. Right, so absolutely. so was ice. Ice is the right. solid form of H2O. Mm. Steam is the gaseous form. <sighs> and, then, and then what we say, water. I think Lowell might have just changed my mind. <clears throat> the, the question is, we all agree water makes other things wet. We all yeah. agree with that. That's not a question. The question is, is water itself wet is the question. But what is wet? It's a liquid. I want it. Is this a philosophical question what, or a scientific what, what does, question? What does wet mean? Wetness is a quality. Yeah. Which liquid water possesses. 
You know what? He says it in such a way. You're very convincing. <laughs> he d- he just says it in such a way that like every everything in me just says. He said in such a way him. where you're like, I said, man, am I, am I stupid? <laughs> Am I stupid? Said so, like this guy is just correct. Bill Nye's been pretty quiet since Lowell walked up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still I'm still pretty. I think I'm gonna switch my answer. I'm not. I think I'm gonna switch my I answer. I morally and ethically can't. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, like it, it's, it's a little too late, but sure, sure, sure. Because sure. I, I I I wasn't a free thinker, and maybe I should have been. Well, it doesn't it. count now. It doesn't count now. Honorable okay. mention. But yeah, water water's gonna be wet now unless. Somebody can disprove me. <laughs> okay, Nick. Christian's not closing his eyes. Christian, close your eyes. I wouldn't know that. All four of closed. them. The person in the middle seat on an airplane should get both armrests. <laughs> Open your eyes. Yeah! 100%, dude. No, incorrect. Incorrect? No, incorrect. He meant that is correct. That is incorrect. Did I screw up again? What should the person in the middle get both armrests? Yes or no? No. Okay, then you should have kept yours down. Man, I'm gonna learn this game eventually. I promise you, I am. All right, free thinker. We have a free thinker <laughs> takeaway. This is stupid. Y'all can't be serious. You think the person in the middle? I understand. I messed up the game. It's well, actually pretty free irrelevant thinker, what we think, dude. It's actually pretty irrelevant. You you were the free thinker, whether we were right or wrong. All right. So do I get to defend my answer? Sure. Go ahead. Free thinker. The person in the middle seat who paid the same price should get both armrests. You both can't believe this. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and uh, because this is courtesy. So think about this. You have three seats. A lot of the time you do have to sit in the middle between people you don't know. Most people who travel are just like traveling alone. Yeah, yeah, we all know how airplanes work. Right. So you have one person who gets the window seat and gets control, therefore, of the visor and whether or not the sun enters through there and gets to see outside. I get it. I get it. You have the person in the aisle seat who not only gets to get out first but can have the easiest access to the bathroom and all of that. Correct. And stretch. Right, the person in the middle is just the most unfortunate person. The mm. only thing that would make sense is to let them have both armrests because each other person will still be left with an armrest. The side of the plane is an armrest. There's still an armrest between you and the side of the plane. Is that right? Yeah. Wait a minute. I, so I, I, I fly window seat every time I fly. Are and there four armrests for every three seats? One, two. Okay, so am I math? Yeah, because he's yeah, one, saying there's two, one on the outside of the aisle. Three, four, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I mean, nowadays, depending on who you fly, each seat might have two armrests. But like, you know what? Like we're talking movie okay. theater seat rules, you, kinda almost. Right. When he said the question was get both armrests, yeah, that made it sound as if there was only two. But once you said that, there are four. Yeah. But Nick read it wrong again. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you're All right. a free you know thinker. What? I'm sorry. I am a free thinker, but I was wrong. And I, I'm okay to admit that. I'm still going to win the game. Keep going. I'm not the one who wrote these questions down. And zero people asked your opinion. Let's go. <laughs> Too far. Sorry. Okay. I apologize. All right. Ne- next question. Okay. Pineapple belongs on pizza. <sighs> Open your eyes. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yes. I see. I it actually does. really hate the taste of pineapple on pizza. But I stand with the fact that pizza is one of those you things. Stand everything that belongs. We have the right. Yeah. Wait, everything. Like anything can be I'm, put on I'm pizza. Sorry. Ev- anything. Well, uh, I'm talking about pineapple because it's just a ridiculous content. Kind of t- like who who decided to put pineapple on pizza? But like I was just like, wait a minute. Pizza is one of those things. You can put lots of things on. All inclusive. It's yeah, it's kind of all inclusive. I've seen people. I've seen people put some shocking things on. So pizza. I got a question for you. What's up? Can a burrito have pineapples? That bothers me. Why? It's the same concept. No, it's not. No. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, so pizza is <laughs> Italian. <laughs> it's not the right? same concept. Pineapple is kind of true. Why are we letting this guy have an opinion? Are you being racist? It's Mexican. Mexicans if don't deserve pineapple. If that's racist, then okay. All right, you believe burritos originated in Mexico? Oh, or is that a oh, oh. We, we digress. Do <laughs> pineapples? My do pineapples? Do pineapples belong on burritos? If not, then why do they belong on pizza? I can answer that. Because pizza has a base, savory, salty flavor. The okay, tomato yeah. paste, 
and the other meat and stuff. The pineapple gives a sweet and sour. It's kind of a sweet and sour, savory thing. Whereas beans and rice are not a combination. Dude, it just would not work. This is that was so easily refuted. Like I don't even want to give him a response. <laughs> well, like, I mean, like wow. you also think about it. You, you know, pizza is an Italian food. Mm. Back to rice. right, and then you have pineapple which is more of a tropical thing mm-hmm. and fruit and that c- those mixed very well and is more natural right now i'm not going to say that i enjoy the taste but that but dude with a burrito that do, be honest with me have you ever done that no but i've done it with the taco you put pineapple on the taco yes it, it was part of the i forgot what it what it was called but it was like a tropical taco maybe this is something i'm too white to understand you know what Sure, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Wherever That's you're going, side, would you ever put pineapple on a taco? I might. You might mess Wait, with that. What do I put on tacos? Hold on. What's the difference between the taco Beef, and a burrito? Beans, this corn, is more philosophical stuff. lime, cheese, lime some fresco, would work. Um, all olive, black olives, hot sauce, uh, avocados. Um, do I put? What was it she put? It wasn't pineapple. It was something else that was kind of sour that I put on. If you put pineapple on a taco, why wouldn't you do it with a burrito? Hold on. It wasn't pineapple. What was it? What's that taste that Jalapenos. What's that other thing I put on there that's kind of sweet? Ratatouille, this thing. Hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> Just All right. open up your yeah. mind. O- open up your Keep mind. It open. I'm going to say no on that one, but I feel like everybody – has a right to put pineapple on pizza should this they is want to. peppers. Though I can't stand with it, I stand for it. Sour cream. I don't support you, but I support your right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. What is that other thing Super that American to me. All right. Tacos. <coughs> Drop it in the comments. Agree or disagree. What's the next question? There is not a problem with kissing with your eyes open. <laughs> Okay, then just remember, if you raise your spear, you agree that there's no problem with doing that. Open your eyes. The married oh! person! Oh! The free thinker! To be fair, you might change your mind after you get married. And you let me know afterwards. I, I don't know about that, man. Really? Just the I... I'm game either way. <laughs> just guy! <laughs> he, said, he said, listen, so long as it's happening, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep your eyes open, especially when you have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. You got to keep your eyes open. Oh, so yours is more of a, a prey perspective. I don't you're, you're watching for predators. You're, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you're trying to stay safe. I don't know if that's how it developed, but now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm game either way. Why do your eyes have to be closed? I just It's weird, man. No, you got to give me an answer besides it's weird. Well, as a person who's never kissed a girl, let me just <clears throat> let's discuss that. I feel like it'd be more intimate. Then why do you deserve to put that down? Why? You, wait a minute. Why are you poo-pooing he can on still, my... He can still have an opinion. I didn't poo-poo no, on your can. opinion. I just disagreed with okay, your opinion. Okay, keep going. Um, I, I pooped like on the opinion. I'd be <laughs> so you're telling me I have to lose another one of these things now? You do because you're the free thinker. Isn't it more intimate? Hey, people, please tell me. Is it more intimate to close and to experience what's going on rather than just eye contact? How, how would closing, Oh, my God. How eye contact. Clo- wait a minute. How would closing one of your five senses make it more intimate? You uh, Explain an experience. Don't, Explain that. Uh, don't. So, so kind of like think about it like this. Think about it like this. You have distraction. You have no distraction. Correct. I think that's what he's trying to say. Thank you. But even then, I, even then, just like socially, I, that would make me so uncomfortable. <laughs> if like socially, if, if like with, two if like I was going in for a kiss and she was. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing in the world: two people with their eyes open, just going at it. You're like, wait a minute, what are they thinking? What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you what looking are, at? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> you keep your eyes open. What are you looking at? I'm like, man, your uh, ear today, uh, babe. Uh, oh, you, got some <laughs> eye, you got some eye boogers, darling. <laughs> it's like, you need to trim your uh, ear hair, huh? <laughs> that is so cringy. Oh, no. No, but I, I, but I, hey, I do more, respect. More, more power to I you. I, 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 I do respect. I, I like how you said that. You said, I'm just down for it either way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that, that I can respect. I will no longer poof on the opinion. If you're asking me what I'm thinking, by the way, I'm still thinking of animals that can't swim. Next question. Oh, <laughs> booyah. 
Get out of here. All right, ne- next question. So far. I like that one. Yeah. That so w- far, I'm losing. So far, there's a, there's a pretty strong hive mind on the left side and a couple free thinkers over here. And nobody has jumped in to save Pastor Josiah. Just like, we'll just throw that one out there. That's a lost cause. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He said, okay, we're just going to just gonna crap on me. Nick, their eyes aren't closed. Mine are. All right, let's go. Beards make men more attractive. <laughs> Somebody open your eyes. Now look. Hey. I just, now look, I hesitated. Now we did just ask three bearded men. They're they're okay. The question was beards make men more attractive. In general. Yeah. Right. In general. Right. In general. There are exceptions to that rule. Sure. Even exceptions Tom Holland. Even exceptions, not that <laughs> far away, but <laughs> isn't that Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. Spider Man. I think he'd look super weird. He with doesn't a beard. have it. Timothy Hall- uh, Shalloway. Is that his name? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Oh, Tom Holland would look weird with a beard. That's he, his, his facial structure. His entire isn't, his entire because he's a twenty eight year old. He's a thirty year old dude trying to play a sixteen year old boy yeah, on yeah. the screen. His, his whole he's gimmick 15. is looking sixteen. He's fifteen. That's a bit. That's a bit in the movie. I'm fifteen. Oh, yeah, really? Well, there's, like, no time jump in the movies when there is supposed to be time jump. So, yeah, nice try. He has has, has 15, according to – anyway. What were you saying, Pat? He's in junior year every year, it seems like. It's incredible. It's like, does he keep failing? (laughs) He's busy, man. He's busy. In general – oh, I'm so glad you said that. I got an early birthday gift from my mother-in-law yesterday, and it was a beard comb. Nice. Dude, I should have brought it today. Uh, it has a quote from Charles Spurgeon on it, which says, "Beards are natural, manly, and scriptural." Whoa, Charles Spurgeon. Wow. It's a real quote. Is that a doctrine? <laughs> scriptural. So I think it's like those countries that you were talking about in an earlier I, podcast where you have to have a beard, or else yes, like you're not. A I man. think. Wow. Pastor Spurgeon's point. Yeah. Um, would be that the Romans plucked out Jesus's beard as part of his punishment for his crucifixion, torture. Oh yeah. You can't pluck out something that's not there. So I think he's saying, "Amen." Wow. Amen. So uh, you heard it here first, folks. So Dalton, repent. <laughs> you Dude, I'm so glad Nick didn't turn the camera. <laughs> that would have been so bad. His face, <laughs> what it was so hurt. Like, His face was, was like, so. It was like, dude, me. I'm sitting here taking pictures with my camera. I'm not doing anything wrong. Would they even allow you to have a beard at your school? No. Yeah. Really. They've told him to shave. Well, I went to school, you couldn't, because uh, you were supposed to look, quote-unquote, professional. By professional, they mean business. That's why we had to wear the dress shirt. Well, see, his is a very, very, very religious school. Mine was, too. So Which, yeah. I do want to say, that was one of the best days of my life when they told me to shave. <laughs> yeah! I <laughs> agree with that. I have to he shave. Said, Sorry, guys, i got to leave class. i got to go shave yeah. in the office, you know. <laughs> now that we're men. got to go to the office. Oh. Hey, sorry I clogged the sink with all my facial hair. Yeah, sorry about that, <laughs> Do you remember, it's in Spongebob, where he grows, this is a real mustache, he flexes, <laughs> he flexes and he grows. It. Yeah. All right, yeah, that was Dalton. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, next question. Cheerleading is not a sport. If you agree, raise your spear. Open your eyes. I can defend this. We <laughs> he knew he was a free speak thinker. Come on. Come here, Dalton. Josiah's Don't show your beard. Don't show your beard. Free Go. thinker. Look at that. Boom. Oh. I think if the two of Chauvinism. you. Chauvinism. It came from a hairless man. I think man. if the two of you are honest, you will at least say, I'm about to make a good case. Hold on. Hold on. Can we pan the camera and see the green? Right there. The green block that has saved. Green just, means go. Now just remember, we do have to remove the what original you that you lost and replace it. What are you? You, you oh, still wow. lost. He saved me. Yes, On he did. camera. So you, there's no no, 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 no. You just got it backwards. No, no, no. You you lost a block for being the free thinker. Then Dalton just resurrected a block. Are you being a free you thinker did, again? You didn't gain a point from okay. this. You All didn't right. lose right. one. Free thinkers. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Can I, I think if the two of you are honest, you will say... You know what, Josiah? That's a good point. Okay. I the problem hear here is people think with emotion and not logic here because they think, oh, cheerleading is hard or difficult or competition. But the question wasn't, is cheerleading hard, difficult, or competition? The question was, is it a sport? And okay. I have a definition of a sport okay. that uh-huh. I think is working. Here's I'm, sure. I'm willing okay. to hear this. Okay. 
Again, whenever someone says, just real quick, a sport is not something that's difficult. Brain surgery is difficult. It's not a sport. A sure. sport is not just a competition. That's not – that is He not came locked and loaded for yeah. this one. Well, I've been through this. I'll give you other Who things. Who hurt you? I'll give you other things that I think – let me do the definition first. A sport – a sport is a competition – yeah. Where somebody or somebody's are actively trying to stop you from doing what you're doing. So, golf is an activity mm-hmm. and a competition that requires oh. great skill, but not a sport. Oh. Track. Track. Hot take. Track is a skilled competition of great athleticism. The FBI but it is, is a come in here. race. Oh. It is a race. It is a competition. Not a sport. Now, now, now see, say the, what you said about golf again. See if Dalton takes his block it's, back. It's not an insult. Right. It's not a, people. Th- it's not an insult. I am telling you that those people are skilled, competitive. I'm just saying, by definition of a sport being someone else is trying to stop you from doing what you're doing. There's more skill in golf than there is in some sports. This isn't a question of skill. It's not even a question of athleticism, though. In that example, but it's not even yeah. a question of that. It's an example of sport so track so i'll show you how consistent i am okay track is a race a competition a skills competition sure not a sport someone's not actively trying to stop you from doing what you're doing oh uh, mm. so baseball so. barely um <laughs> because of the pitcher hitter combination because you have um, yeah you have football the basketball okay rugby the soccer Someone's actually trying to stop you from doing what you're doing. So about that, where did the definition come from? Where did the resistance? Mine. So hold on. So hold on. Could it technically be that in a competition or a fierce competition, the other people doing better or having different strategies or like doing other things, they are also not only trying to win, but trying to stop you from doing what no. you're doing, which is trying to score the no, most amount of points. Because in golf, yeah, they are not allowed to actively stop. The wind is more of an opponent to you than the, other, the person. other person. Interesting. The, right? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so in golf, if somebody were allowed to take out a club and beam you in the shin, that's a sport. then that would They're be a sport. They're trying to stop yeah. you from doing <laughs> For sure. Now, you may disagree, I, I, but I think I've given the most consistent position, and I think if both of you tried, you would not be able to give where, a consistent. Where did you get your definition of I, sport? That's my – I made it up. Okay, you made it up. Yes. There it is. Well, hold on. Hold on. But I'm Heard. consistent with myself. I'm consistent with myself. There's not. I don't make exceptions. If it's consistent, okay, it's true. but that doesn't necessarily make it true. It just makes it, you know, respectable. All right. If we were to pan over and ask you, brother Christian, for definite sport, we all know you would not be able to provide a consistent one. Go. Not at this. Res- not at this moment. Okay, so your vote is invalid. Can you? Now my phone's over there. I would Google and no, see. no, because the question was asked of you now. And you answered now, which means you had an idea of sport in your brain. Well, because cheerleading is called a competition sport. Okay, koala, so like koala bears are called bears, grape nuts are called grapes, and they're not – Affordable Care Act wasn't affordable. I can go through it just because it's in the name. Right, but when you come up with your own definition and say, well, because it's consistent, by therefore you, it is right. By you answering a question. Then no, I can no, say, no, hey, no. an atheist just came by and said, no. yeah, my definition of God is the things no, that make me no, happy, and no. I'm consistent with that, therefore no. I'm right. Here's why. Okay. First off, they can't be consistent with that. That's a fact. Okay. <laughs> uh, secondly, you answered a question – Based off a definition that you don't have, but you had a, a a in the air in your conscience a semi definition in your head that now you're questioning. I you I st- was willing to accept your definition until I heard that you came up with it. Then you give you were willing to accept my definition because I you thought you came it came Somebody from a, came a up source. With, those sources are made of people who came up Is with it. Is it peer reviewed? Yes. What? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we we, we're we okay. acknowledge that. Yeah, we're okay. We acknowledge that. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, and <laughs> I still have not heard a positive affirmation of what a sport is, if I'm wrong. Free thinkers. <laughs> Dude, these free thinkers, man. Why are you using the plural form? It's just me. <laughs> it's you and your kind, man. Man, someone needs some butter over here, because they're definitely bitter. No, I, I would I would love oh. I would love to take out a real definition, and if the real definition real definition sport, has to come from a different person, not me. Okay, all I'm saying is I can't just take any word I want and throw a definition on it. Agreed. And then you say like, but my, yeah, but mine oh, is but a, was, mine is a mine. working definition in the sense, in the sense that definitions have to be consistent, and I don't think. Would you consider it a game then instead of a sport? Which one? Cheerleading. Okay, 
there's two types of cheering, right? There's a competitive dance one, and then there's the cheering on the team one, right? Yeah. A- agreed? I mean, I mean, they so both the, have the, the same function, really, but yeah. No, because you have, like, the ones who go to competitions for... They're not always the same, are they? Well, no, I mean, like, uh, I, I just mean when they go to the competition, they do the stuff that they would it's do like on half, the field half if dim- they had that type of space. Half gymnastics, half... Yeah. yeah, sure. So, I would say that's a competition. I probably wouldn't call it a game, because... Well, I was just thinking of, like, Olympic games. Yeah. You know, and stuff like we wouldn't, in that sense, call javelin throwing javelin throwing a sport, but it's called an Olympic yeah, game. Yeah, I'm game. With, okay, I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. And I, it's a I can settle with that. And it's a skilled competition. Yeah. 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 No but disrespect for our cheerleaders But today. something. No, of course not. No. Something being difficult doesn't make it a sport. Okay. Something being competitive doesn't make it a sport. Okay. I can so agree. So you need the resistant aspect. I believe so. I believe that's what defines, in our brain, the difference. I like that. Interesting though. opinion. I, I do. I it. do respect that opinion, but it is not verified on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm being punished for not going along with the masses. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that's you're, actually you're the free thinker. That's, Today well, we we're supposed well, to be part of the hive you know what? mind. Tic Tic Tac and all yeah, that. Tic Tac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they would. Uh, I bet they would disagree with me because that's what they've been trained to do. But we then just they got canceled. Agree with me. Yeah, we just got canceled. They didn't even. Know we'll it. be okay. All I the golfers will leave. We'll be okay. All the golfers and just it, unfollowed. We'll, we'll be okay. All right. Dana and Anna will come back and our views will go up again. Agreed. So, Agreed. All right, Agreed. we're going to do another question. Let's do another question. All right. Yeah. I agree. Clowns are funny. Open your eyes. Get rid of that. Wow. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Kill it. Murder it. Wow. Gone. You guys are big uh, clown fans. I uh, think no. I'm looking at a couple clowns myself. No, I'm just uh, kidding. Oh! So let me get this straight. Oh! Let me get this straight. You free think one single time and are saved. I free think four I free, times. I free, <laughs> I'm free thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's mommy and daddy. <laughs> it's mommy and daddy again. Congratulations. Y'all have taught me to take things at face value, and I won't do it. So, so Hunter. I'm sorry, you think clowns are funny, Hunter, you man. think clowns are not are funny? Are you thinking like it? Are you thinking like. No, I'm just thinking of like, I go to anything that has a clown in it. I'm have you ever been to a, a circus? I or, have. Okay. Did they make you laugh? No. Little tiny car and running around and jumping on the trampoline? I mean, like, I felt like they really wanted me to laugh so much that I was uncomfortable. Did you think they were jovial? I thought they seemed happy with themselves. Okay. Um, But then the older that I get, I feel like the less happy they are when they leave. Has Joker ever made you laugh? Hmm. No. Okay, he has me. Well, I mean, when like, he presses I, in Dark Knight, when he's I can pressing, think of like, yeah, okay, in Dark Knight, I yeah, can when he's pressing the button it. and it's not working, and then he and he goes, cool. oh. ha. yeah, yeah you know, exactly. Like, I'm gonna make this I'm gonna disappear. Disappear. Yeah, I mean, that, that was that, a good accent. Thank you. Thank you. Accent. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it, imitation. Uh, Im- impression. Impression. Who said impression? Lowell's first Lowell, time he's of been right today. Lowell. First time he's been right today. No, Lowell's never been wrong. I'm just gonna say, okay, there the over the top comedy of you know painting and getting all dressed up in the flashy with the big old boots and stuff. Every now and again, they'll have, like, these pranks. Like, if they can pull a prank on you, I'll be like, dude, I love it when people get pranked. But just in general, I don't look at a clown and say, and I'm I prepared my to jokes laugh. Were bad. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I actually have a different point. I think that they are funny not in that the content itself is funny, but their attempt to be funny is funny. Mm. Like it's mm. so big. I agree with you. I can think of someone who tells jokes that way. If if, <laughs> if they just their their act is not funny. Yeah. But it is their pathetic their attempt still bring you laughter. Yes, yeah, it's mm. like oh you're trying. It's, it's a pity that. laugh. It's, it's a like a, bit oh, I see my, my it's thing, a pity laugh, but still a laugh. I'm depending myself. Yeah, my thing is the social thing is just like I see them trying and wanting this so bad, <laughs> it's just and I'm just like I feel uncomfortable where I need to be like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm laughing like, at but the then situation. I'm just like, man, I really know like they're talking about me. I've got right a now. free think right now. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Next do, do, question. Do we have a clown with us? <clears throat> okay, we'll we'll do uh, we'll do one more and then we'll uh, react to a video. Yes, sir. Public displays of affection should be discouraged. Open your eyes. That one's an unfair question. It depends on what they mean. Like when my little girl runs up to me and I give her a hug, 
when I see my wife and I give her a kiss? Like, what do you mean? What's the difference? Could we be more specific and then do well, another Well, first vote? off, take off his, take off his thing. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 defi- no. Okay. We no should, wait a minute. We should define our terms because I we've agree. Been, talk- we've been shooting first and asking questions later. <laughs> yeah, take, and then we'll, so <laughs> mad. So, hold on. I might not have free thought. We got to figure this out. I would require the question to be rephrased so we do this okay, again. Okay, let, let, let's talk about it. Okay, let's sure, talk about for it. For sure. <clears throat> PDA. Yeah, let's talk about it when it's your. Yeah, P- okay. <laughs> you know, that's fair. Can we okay, contingency? Let's take it off. Let's no, no, take it off. Let's not take it Here, off. I want you to take it off. I don't want to take it off. I just want to keep hey, it like, boys, on the can surface. We, can, can we? Can we? Can it's we, like that. Just what like, do you, it's not completely off. All right. <laughs> but it's easily so removable. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So PDA. When when PDA is mentioned, the first thing we're gonna think is just public display of affection between like a couple. Okay, but. But public display of affection. Now, there's always, there's always, dude, just like with that question earlier, like to what extent there's exceptions to the rules, like with the <coughs> thing with the beard. You know, if Tom Holland came out with the beard, I would be upset because like that's a 10-year-old with a beard and that what makes me uncomfortable. That's blasphemy. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like if people are just like going crazy in public, no, that should be discouraged. Yes, it but should like, be discouraged. Yeah, yeah. That, that but I raised my. That's why I hesitated and you roll the clip. That's why I hesitated <laughs> because it play depends, it back. It depends on what you mean by public display of affection. I mean, when your dog runs up to you, oh hey. Man. So let's define the line. Yeah, let's do it now. That let's define already, the line. Okay, yeah. kissing with your eyes open. Discur- that is so <laughs> wrong. You know what, Hunter. <laughs> Christian, one day. Hello. <laughs> one day, you'll understand. <laughs> you know what? I hope that your opinion might or might not change. I'm, and I'm then, I mean, it has. On the day it does, I want you to walk back in this room. I want you to grab that block right there. I'm just there. saying, I kiss I want my you fiance place it every time right I see there. her, and if she just was just like, "Hey, let's keep our eyes open when we kiss today," I'm like, "No." I said, "What?" It's like a. <laughs> it's I say, like, "Look over there." <laughs> No, no, but I'm just saying, like, okay, PDA, just like, you're out with your wife, you stop on a park bench, and you you kiss a little. What is a little? Just a little. Are we talking about like pecs? Because people will come up, no, people will come up and be like, "No, I'm doing that. No, I'm doing that. That's no, I unprofessional. Think there's That's definitely wrong. A, li- a line that could. But be there's a line. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, you're not allowing for anything. You're not even allowed to. Hold hands. You're not even allowing for smiling. You're not even allowing for, hey, I love you. That's you, a public you, display of affection. You're, you're the I, one. I dare someone to look me in the eye and say that's not a public You You're the one who said, hey, can you grab that? It should be discouraged. Right you said discourage PDA. Right. It depends on what we mean. <sighs> hmm. I'm, I, all I'm seeing is that I have a m- more blocks. Next than you question. Have. Oh, I thought we were going oh, we 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 to react. We need to Let's hurry up. Relax. React. Yeah, I win. Let's go. I win. Right. This is golf. You want fewer points. I win. Okay, so uh, just for clarification, we Christian have our winner is our guest, Christian. That's Second right. place, your your yes. host. Yes, he has two. Sir Hunter of the Knighthood of Witten. And then finally, I didn't know we had such a radical over here. Josiah, hey, there's a side free words, thinker. There's a sideboard triangle right there. Hit it. That's interesting. It's a play button. They'll That's get it in a minute. Funny. Let's see it. Yes, sir. This is Rosetta. She came in tonight with pain all over her body. She even had surgery on her vocal cords because there was some blockage. But she, that pain is leaving her body. And she believes tonight God has healed her vocal cords. And she's believing that she can sing tonight. What happened to you? <laughs> well, I've got a very long story. Touch. <laughs> Don't put it on me. That means you're rejoicing because you're ready to go. <laughs> Did you understand? There's the, so many things wrong. With the video? Um, no. <laughs> Would you mind if I narrate it? Because I provided it. Go ahead. Yeah. So you have this woman who is in her, she injured her vocal cords. She walks up to a, what seems to be a, I don't want to say pastor because I don't want to. Yeah. To, to a, a healer, church. a healer. Yeah. Let's keep it minimal. Someone who's pretending to be a pastor. Sure, for sure. Some At some least. sort of spiritual leader who a has wolf in sheep's clothing who right. can't swim. Yes. This woman came up. She said, "Hey, you know, I can't swim. I'm about to. Mm, 
I'm about to tell you my situation. It's a long story. The healer blows in her face because that's apparently in scripture. <sighs> and she like, uh, she passes out. Like yeah, she's just like oh. I'm okay, shut down. I, I, okay, I didn't see that. And the okay. joke becomes, oh, none of us wanted to hear that. <laughs> you're, you're, you should be thanking me for ending. It's like y'all are all laughing because okay. you wanted to go so, home. So okay, I understand. So she was about to give a long story about God's healing and provision yeah. in her life. And he breathed his spirit, the Holy Spirit on her or whatever, and she passed to out. To knock her out. That okay. Just, uh, All right. So what's the question? <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Wrong, I mean, right? We're, we're, just, we're just reacting I'll, there. Are we asking what level of blasphemy that was? Or? I, I which, would, which I would level say of there's so many levels to it. There are just so many levels. I mean, it's like uh, it was, it's hard to not to I've come to expect the laugh. videos that you pick are increasingly more blasphemous. Yeah. Uh, hey, just, brought to you by TikTok. So, okay. So, was that in America? Do we know? I can't. You'd have to assume. But they they didn't have an accent. Okay. So, the the man with the microphone is supposed to be a healer. Sure. Okay. This is... Because there are are plenty... Okay. I mean, he's the one who invited her. I mean, they were inviting her up and saying, like, oh, yeah, she's got... She's wanting to share... That she believes and, that she's been healed, and, and then she starts singing. Oh, and this I've was a, a this was a church. Story. This was a church. It, yes, it was. It, it looked like a church building. A church. There's that a lot of people. Is based on God's word. Something resembling a church that should that, resem- that was made to resemble. So, what passage of scripture are they deriving this form of worship to where when you want someone not to talk, you breathe the Holy Spirit that you possess to make them pass out? I'm asking you because you chose the video. Um. By the way, Christian, does, let me make sure. Christian does not endorse. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I yeah. chose the video for them to answer. <laughs> for us just to react to. Yeah. All right. So Chris, it, Brother Hunter, you know what? your, what's your reaction, bro? Well, it's, it's, see, my, my reaction is it reminds me of all the videos of these other church places where the pastor would just be like, he'd be up on stage and he would say, get ready to feel the Holy Spirit. And he'd like turn around and he'd be like, whoosh like this and he'd push out I tell you and what, the whole congregation went here oh. here why don't i say the thing that no one else wants to say yeah well i'll do that real quick yeah the point will be taken on this one okay yeah i'll look right there all right so since the bible tells us in the new testament church how we're supposed to go about when someone asks for healing the bible says unlike the ministry of the apostles which god gave special privilege to right. that we are supposed to bring them forward the elders are supposed to anoint them with oil and pray to god to heal them that's right. what the bible says which is what we do so all of these quote unquote healing ministries where pastors will actually take on the title of healer Ugh. that's an interesting title that i don't find in the new testament by the way um I, and and supposedly that god's gift of healing is a genie in the bottle that they can relinquish whenever they want do they live in a city that has a children's hospital? And if so, why does it exist? Oh. Uh, next step, why did you close down during COVID? Mm. I am still waiting an answer to that. If you have the power of God to, to distribute healing whenever you want, and you can make cripples walk again, all that stuff, tell me why you closed down for the flu. If you can knock people out by blowing on them, why aren't you in, like, the police force I, or something? I, 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 I mean, like, I mean. Freeze. <laughs> I, I th- just, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the other thing for just a moment. Those churches were among the first to close down for three years Ugh. because of COVID. Yeah. But they can uh, but they make, can heal your vocal cords. Right. Yeah, that's that's incredible to me. I'll wait an answer for that one, by the way. Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, I feel like you're wasting your calling. If you can sit and breathe the Holy Spirit out onto people to make them go, oh, no. Then it's like, shouldn't you be in, like, boxing or, like, yeah, police? Probably. Or <laughs> just imagine just, like... Gun, how many lives could you save if you could just knock people out by blowing? Right. So, not to make this longer than it needs to go, but I came from a charismatic background before I came to Witten, and I saw a lot of this. Um, I feel like in general, as a whole, it's obviously being abused. But I'd, I'd like, in a, in a next session, talk about some experiences I've had with I'd that. I'd love to. Yes. Because I was actually converted during one of these movements when the preacher was going, fire, fire, fire. That is when I became a Christian. I received the Holy Spirit right then and there. It was not from the person screaming fire, the person saying, you know, repent, repent. That's always interested me. 
when we have charismatic pastors scream fire, 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 almost every time fire is uh, brought from heaven in the Bible, it's judgment. But yeah. yes, I'd love to talk about that next session. <laughs> and it's even a promise that's going to happen again. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, First it was I water, now it will be fire. I pray for mercy for that day. I don't call on it quickly. Right. Right. Scripture so. says don't don't look for it. I mean, it's, it's a bad day. It's going to be a very dark day. All right, guys. Well, if you have any experiences with spiritual healing, uh, shoot us a comment. Uh, send us an email. Guys, if you uh, had any hot takes from our game today, uh, Hive Mind, please let us know in the comments. I want to play also, that again. Yeah, we can definitely play it again. We'll have a lot more hot takes. Uh, and we'll the see. The comments will be with me. Yeah, and we'll see how many free thinkers, uh, how many more we have there, guys. Second place went to someone who is thinks all a sport? animals can swim. Is swimming a sport? No, he was first place. First place went to someone who thinks all animals can swim. I, I just want to hear more about that. But, guys, if you have any hot takes about it, if you have any thoughts about spiritual healing, uh, and if you have anything about any episodes in the past, please feel free to don't comment throw below. your pet rabbit in the lake. Christian don't is wrong. Don't throw your pet rabbit in the lake. Christian is uh, wrong. I didn't say good swimmers. I just, they swim, period. <laughs> you can also email us at listenpointtaken at gmail.com. That's listenpointtaken at gmail.com. No spaces. Send us an email. Uh, we would love to answer any questions you have, talk about any perspectives you have. We're also on Instagram at Point Taken Christian Podcast. Send us a DM on that or comment on any of our pictures. But until next time, guys. Deuces. deuces. He didn't do it. Excuse me.